You know, I think for some, 2020 is just going by really slow and I don't blame you because of the pandemic, right? For me, this year has just flown by and there's just been a lot of, uh, when we talk about streetwear and fashion, there's been a lot of things that have just kind of came and went for me uh, and a lot of changes that I made in the purchases of the, the things that I've actually been interested in. And that's what we're gonna talk about on this video here today. It's gonna be about all of the fashion trends within sneakers, street style, hoodies, hats, whatever it is that I stopped buying and I pretty much lost interest in. Maybe it could be a little bit contradicting in the future, but you know, it is what it is. With that said, it's your boy Keezy. It ain't easy being Keezy. Let's get it. All right, first up, man. I always got my list with me, but I don't even need the list for this first one because I could just I could freestyle this whole thing, all right? The first one I'm gonna bring up as far as an item in particular, probably the most trending item. It's gonna be Jordan 1s. Yes, I stopped buying Jordan 1s. I Not that I gave up, don't get me wrong, I love Jordan 1s, I love the silhouette of, of the AJ1. I think it's one of the most classic uh, sneakers silhouettes out there period besides an Air Force one it's like hand in hand those two sneakers are just king of the crop okay depending on the release and, and what have you but I just stopped buying them because I lost interest and maybe it's because of the oversaturation of it maybe it's also because Jordan brand just kept releasing so many and it felt like as a consumer maybe this is relatable I don't know but uh, it felt for me where it was just so many Jordans coming out and even the hyped ones of course were super hyped and you would feel the need to buy these sneakers as if you were going to resell them when really I'm not a reseller so I'm not going to play that game and I gave up on that aspect of it and then the GRs and you know the general release pairs started to get hyped too and then now low tops are getting hyped up so like all the resale prices for even the the ones that aren't really supposed to be hyped just kind of skyrocketed and you can't really find a really decent pair or that I couldn't find a decent pair below the, the price of 350 to, you know 450 ish of ones that I want and it's like man this is like uh, I don't have enough money to play the game right now maybe I can come back to it uh, in the future uh, and then on top of all of that the cherry on top of the whole idea of buying so many Jordan ones which I did I ended up buying so many that I I don't know if I owned like 20 something pairs but I owned quite a few and I was like doubling up for no reason but the cherry on top the caveat of it all is that almost no matter what you know Jordan ones that you currently buy right now as the years progress and if you collect whatever that even means now in 2020 is that your collection in Jordan 1s is gonna be no different than the next person that is into Jordan 1s right now. Like, literally, if you go to each other's closets, the collection of Jordan 1s look the same. It is the same shadows, it's the same black toes, it's the same unions, you know, the storm blues or whatever, the black toes. And it's like, man, like, at what point does it stop too? Because they keep releasing so many, you know, hyped up sneakers, and then also, not that I always want to feel different than everybody else, but it didn't feel special to me and I was spending a lot of money in something that didn't make myself feel special. And that's kind of like what I get into clothing for. I like to buy pieces uh, or things or sneakers that have meaning to myself. Like I cannot tell you the last time I bought a Jordan 1 and can tell you a story about it. I'm not saying every item needs a story, but if that if that's somewhat of a signifier to tell me that it's not significant to me anymore then that's what it is and that's how I feel about it again do not get it twisted though I still love Jordan 1's don't get me wrong and do not get this twisted the neutral grays go crazy but I don't know if I like that because of archive pages or do I like that because everybody else likes that <laughs> you know what I mean again like the colorway but am I gonna am I gonna gun for it uh, when it comes out, probably not. I feel like I'm done. I, you know, I sold a majority of my Jordan ones. I only own like two or three pairs. Probably just going to keep reinvesting into Babestas because that's where, you know, I, I it feels so much more nostalgic for me uh, to buy this rather than to keep buying Jordan ones that are slightly like a Chicago colorway or bread colorway that I just don't need. You know, I'm glad I said all that. Anyways, hope that was relatable. Let's move on. So number two, 
is definitely not one that I don't like anymore. I lost interest in buying so many flannels. And the beginning of last year in mid 2019, I bought way too many flannels. And you, and for me anyway, the only way I learned my lesson was that I bought so many that I realized even if you only had three or four flannels, by the time you rotate the three to four flannels that you have, you feel me? Your friends don't even know. <laughs> if you got a girlfriend, and if your girlfriend's like only kind of in the clothes, you know, maybe just as much as in the clothes as you are, she's not gonna know after you rotate from that fourth one because you wear the first flannel, she's like, oh, that's nice. You wear the second flannel, oh, that's nice. Is that new? You wear the third flannel, same reaction. Oh, nice, is that new? And then you wear the fourth one, same thing. By the time you make it back to the first flannel, <laughs> it's the same reaction. Wow, that's nice. I've never seen that flannel before. And it's like, oh shit, dude. <laughs> so if you own, you know, let's just say you own 10. You own 10 flannels, bruh, it's a, you, that's enough flannels for like four years. And I worked up to, which is not, it doesn't sound like a lot, but the way I kind of explained it, hopefully you can get where I'm coming from. I think I worked up to about nine. And you feel me, at this point, it's too much. I have almost every color of the goddamn rainbow. I got a big color spectrum here. <laughs> I got orange, I got blue, I got like black and white ones, I got red ones, I got flannel, or I got um, plaid jackets, which is basically like a flannel but a jacket, and it's a different color, right? So I'm, I'm done with it, and maybe in the future if another brand like Uniform Studios had sent me over that uh, the, uh, the, the plaid jacket, which I love, and I, I want to put that together um, in the future, get a, get a photo in it or whatever, but as it stands, I'm gonna calm down right now and uh, we'll see what happens in the future. So let's move on. Some people might get uh, not bent on this next one, but uh, Balenciaga. And it's not the clothing, not the Balenciaga, like the hoodies and stuff. I still love the hoodies that they make. Um, I really love this uh, hoodie that they made where you can tie the bottom and you can make it look like a cropped hoodie or you can release it and it's like an elongated or whatever. Um, really like that hoodie, I forgot the name of it. But I'm talking specifically about the track Balenciaga sneakers. Uh, this sounds so, people are like, I told you you're gonna sell all of those. Hey, look, listen, all right, before I say this, I still love the Balenciaga track sneaker and the reason why is because the track sneaker for me was my my personal introduction to buying into actual designer in, in modern time i think i think seven six seven years ago i bought a pair of like gucci sneakers which were like super pointy back then before streetwear became this like commercial thing but besides that in 2018 i think end of 2018 i, I bought my first uh balenciaga track sneakers and i just like i like i love them and i still love them to this day but what happened was that I bought I bought them, I wore them a couple times, and I, I worked up to like four or five pairs of Balenciaga tracks. You do the math. Yes, it's, you feel me, it's, it's expensive, okay? It's not cheap stuff, you know what I mean? So, so I worked up to like four or five of them. You know, I had the, the bread pair, I had the black, the black pair, I had the, the glow in the dark pair, the list goes on. Um, and what happened is it, it really just kind of sat here. You know, just truth be told, it sat there and I never got around to kind of wearing it again. And, and it felt more of like a trophy shoe to kind of like, you know, look at because it's a very intricate shoe in the way that they designed it. And for, and for them to manufacture something like that, regardless of what country it comes from, I think it's a really great sneaker. But even though I'm talking about it in that way, the reality is that I wasn't I wasn't wearing it. And it was just kind of money that I could, could have used. And, and, you know, to be truthful, Anyways, Balenciaga, I don't want to go too much far into it. Still still love the brand, still love the clothing, still love those sneakers, but I can always come back to it. Am I going to keep buying the sneakers moving forward? Um, unless they come out with something else, but we're just, we're going to have to see. So the next one I got is Jordan 4s, just in general. And um, I should have combined this with the whole Jordan 1 thing because it kind of has the same feel, but let me explain why it's a little bit different, okay? 
Jordan 4s is kind of really what got me into sneakers and it got me into this whole shebang of just being into having interest in clothing, right? It was kind of like the sneakers, the Jordans first, then it moved on to other things, Air Maxes, then it was like, oh cool, pants, cargos, whatever. And admittedly, Jordan 4s, I kind of came back this year. And then also by 2018, I believe the Bread 4s re-released again with the Nike Air on the back. And that's where I went crazy. I, I bought like three pairs, you know, all for myself. I mean, I made a whole video and a whole vlog on it. It's kind of old now, probably probably hard to find. Uh, but yeah, it, I bought the sneakers and then I wore them a couple times. I gotta kind of admit the quality and the shaping didn't resemble as much as the OG as I wanted it to. And I didn't kind of realize that until wearing it and also owning the shoes. But uh, later on, I ended, I, again, another one I just ended up selling, you know? <laughs> Like fashion is is um, is recyclable, right? And that was just one of the things that was sitting here that I wasn't wearing and I sold it. But once that came out, it that was a Jordan 4s was another sneaker that started to kind of not feel as special anymore. Not necessarily because it became general release. There's so many shoes on the market now. And then when the Cool Grays dropped, I didn't buy those. And when the Black Cats re-released, I bought the Black Cats. And I kid you not, when it came in, I opened the box, I took the Black Cat out, I put it back in the box, I taped it up, I put the receipt back, or I put the return label back on, I slapped it on, I brought it back to UPS, and I didn't even wear it. I literally just sent it back. It had nothing to do with quality, who knows? But the point is, I'm not wearing Jordan 4s at the moment. <laughs> Still, still uh, uh, one of my most favorite sneakers. Don't get, don't get it twisted. You feel me? But at per the moment, I'm, I'm, I'm not moving forward, especially into next year. I don't think I'll be seeing myself buying Jordan Fours. That was a long thing to say about Jordan Fours, but I said what I said. So this, um, this next one might be shocking for some, and it's gonna be Bape. It's the Bape clothing. Hoodies, t-shirts, pants, hats, accessories. I stopped buying them. And I, I worked up to almost 25 or 26 different college tees, like the Bape college tees. And I was kinda, it, like the back of my head, I was like, oh, I'm gonna kinda start collecting the college tees because I like the college tees and there's so many releases and it's kinda fun to collect them. Until I was like, mm, I don't know, you can't really do much with a t-shirt. Once you buy the t-shirt, it just kind of sits there. It's kind of weird to hang t-shirts on the wall. It's so much better to visually look at sneakers on a wall than it is to look at a bunch of t-shirts. Um, so like many things, <laughs> and like how many people do in this street style clothing type community, we end up buying something and then we look, okay, well it still has value, and then you sell it and then you buy something else. And that's exactly what happened. And also just the designs of the newer Bape it really just, it really irritates me, man. Like, I don't even know what Babe Corporate is doing, and I don't even know if they watch my videos. I mean, hell, Hypebeast Complex and everyone else watches my videos. So maybe Babe Corporate watches my videos. I don't know, but, bruh, I, like, if you are watching my videos, like, what are y'all doing back there? And, and why do you guys keep pertaining to this, like, popcorn market? It's just, it really irritates me. And Babe, the new Babe is really just starting to look like if Champion turned into Babe. Like that's what Bape is starting to look like to me. And I hate to say it because I've been a loyal fan for so long uh, and I could have flipped it and said, okay, well, I'm gonna just only buy all of the, the OG pieces like the Skullsta hoodie, the Sta hoodies, like all of those pieces are really dope to me. The original Shark hoodies, I would love those as well. Um, it, those kind of bring me back to like the Bape talk days where people would only collect uh, the Bape Shark hoodies and they would have stacks of Bape Shark hoodies, you know? I would do that, but I don't know, it just, I think the direction I took was that, all right, I'm gonna let this go and then spend that money, you know, the Balenciaga money, the Jordan 1 money, and I'm just gonna reinvest it into this because this makes so much more sense right now. Uh, and I know I keep reverting back to that, but that's, I can't tell it any other way. I can't tell you nothing but the truth here. But yeah, just to close this part out, it's funny, people, you know, they see this and then they send me the babe clothing images like, oh, what you think about this? What you... And it's funny because my reaction is just like, bro, I don't buy none of that. Like, you'll, when was the last time you guys saw me wear babe? Probably like two years ago, maybe, on the channel, maybe. I probably had a, like a black and white college tee on. That's about it. I wore it to Complex or something. I can't even remember. Like, I don't even own a babe hoodie. Not right. I might own like one babe hoodie. That's it. 
you know but i have like all the babe studs but the clothing it is what it is let's keep going all right this is man this there are so many things that i bought you know the beginning of this year and last year that i just don't buy anymore and another one is going to be yeezys yeah i spent quite a bit of money buying yeezys i never bought 350s i always bought 700s it was what got me into it was the wave runners when the wave runners first came out I, I mean i wasn't one of those people that automatically hated on it i probably saw it in the beginning from what i remember i was kind of like that's oh, kind of kind of a weird looking shoe and then the you know the turn of the the whole dad shoe movement thing was just kind of going stupid bulky shoe movement was going crazy i was like looking at the wave runner more and more and i'm like man that that's a dope sneaker like i actually like that shoe so i bought that and then the bug started right because when i get into some the minute i'm like oh this works okay well then what other colors they got you feel me i'm you know get the salts i'm gonna get the moth i had the vantas and then i had a couple more but i think from the end of 2019 to the beginning of 2020 i had about six pairs of yeezy 700s and at that point i was like mm, i like it i still really like the silhouette but as far as what where my clothing is going especially like wearing like raw denim and stuff it just it didn't really mix and it didn't really go together so i was like well since it's disposable and, and, and this shit is like recyclable i can literally just bring this to a consignment and i think i brought all of them to heirloom in uh in in, in alameda and i let them all go <laughs> i got my little money bag and i'm like all right man i'm I'm done with this whole Yeezy thing. Would I actually buy a pair of Yeezys moving forward? The answer is yes, but it's really gotta be something that I'm like, all right, this one is dope. So yeah, as it stands, mindset right now, I think I'm good. I'm not purely bringing up this last one because of this comment that I had. But it's, uh, it's going to be all over print tees, wrap tees, kind of like that Merino more wood look, okay? Uh, NASCAR t-shirts and stuff like that. And I had this comment on my, on my channel. I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it up here for you. But the comment was something like, it said to something to the effect of like, you don't know what you're talking about. All over print tees, wrap tees are uh, uh, classic and they will never die ever, okay? I don't, first of all, I've never gotten up on my channel and told you that it was going to die. I've, like, if, if I have, well, shit, I have a really bad memory and I don't even know what I'd be saying half the time, okay? <laughs> if that's the case, goddamn, don't even, just unsubscribe at this point, you feel me? But, um, yeah, I, I think I said something to the effect that I think that the rap tea trend is going to die down moving forward into 2021. I think I said something to that degree. I didn't say it was going to die completely. Of course not. You got diehard vintage fans that are going to buy that stuff regardless. Okay. But me personally, I fell into the, 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 this trap of buying so many that I got kind of tired of it. And I think it was like mid 2019 or like going into 2020. Again, it's just me. It's just who I am. I, I get into something like, Oh, Oh, this works. Oh, I like this. And then I, end up getting a whole bunch of it and when i get all of it i'm just like mm, i don't really know if i want all of this anymore <laughs> anyways before i go off on a tangent i still like the look but on me personally no i i feel if i put it on people think that i'm from la i am from la okay and i'm not saying anybody that puts it on looks like they're from la but me if i put it on when i look myself in the mirror i'm like bro you look like you're from LA and you would wear upside down, you know, logo hats with like shorts that show the knees and like dunks or something. Like I felt deep down, like I need to move away from that, but I appreciate the effort and some of the design that people put into the all over graphic prints, taking rap artists, right? And, you know, redoing it, the Nego T. I don't really regret selling that one, but I had the Nego T. I love that one. Majority of what Merino Morewood does is fire. And especially shout out to all the people that love all those vintage t-shirts that pay a lot of money for that stuff. I mean, that's a whole other market that I just, I don't even really, I don't really pay attention to much of it, you know? So anyways, with that said, still like it, but as far as moving forward, 
I think I'm good, man. I, re I really think I'm good for now. Anyways, uh, closing this video out. This is this is the last thing I will say. I, th I felt like I ranted a lot on this one, but this is this is what I'll say for 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 trends. Okay, I think what's trending right now is to hate trends. I'm gonna say that again. What's trending right now is to hate trends because fe people feel the need to be very unique and people feel the need that you know hating on something or calling something whack and trash is cool. Which I, you know, I, I get it. Some your head can be in that space of just automatically calling something trash. So trends, bro, you shouldn't buy into trends because everybody buys into trends, bro. You should always do something unique, bro. Find your style, bro. Find your style, bro. If you really, if when it really boils down to it, the people that really found their style is because they use trends to find their style. Straight up, I preach. I feel like I'm one of the only people on YouTube that preach this. Trends are great. It's really a path or a journey through clothing for you to buy into something. For my sake, it was like Jordan 1s, the Jordan 4s, buying the babe clothing, right? All over print graphic tees, Balenciaga uh, track sneakers. And I was buying all these things as time progressed. And then as time really progressed, I was like, hmm, I like them, but th is this really me? Is it really me? And what happened for me is that I reverted back where I was just kind of starting to buy stuff that I used to buy when I was a lot younger that I couldn't buy because I didn't have enough money to afford it. And now here we are buying a bunch of stuff that I like and it has nostalgic value to it. That's what that's where I ended up. I'm not telling you that's where you can end up. Maybe it is. I don't know. But again, as I always preach, man, trends are great. Just 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 don't don't dive in so deep where you're like holy shit i'm broke like that's not what you want to do what you want to do is you just you want to you know what you can even do it for free you can do it for free i know i'm going a long time on this bro just go to the mall if something it per the moment is trending and you kind of like it right it's like i don't know some type of cargo pants that came out that everyone wants people now want like the flared the straight denims and whatever bro hit up all your fast fashion brands all right at the mall they're guaranteed to have something kind of similar that emulates the look. Try it on in the store. You don't got to buy it. You just try it on and you try it on. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. If you like it, try it, buy one and then kind of wear it for a little bit. See if it fits for you. And that will kind of like knock you in the right direction as far as what you really want to buy. God, that was a lot to explain. <laughs> that was a lot to explain. <laughs> I think I think I'm done. I'm, do I'm done with this video. Anyways, it was fun to share with you guys. Um, you know my experience through this thing this was kind of like a ropes through fashion except this was just everything that I don't buy um, and big shout out uh, to the new patron to the channel I think these past couple weeks I've had quite a few patron uh, videos that have been up so so hopefully the members are enjoying that so with that said make sure you guys and girls keep it locked from clothing music to culture it's your boy Keezy I'll see you next time peace